Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Vakar Shamim. I'm working as professor of cardiology. Today I'm going to tell you about the calcium scoring CT scan test. The CT scan test used for calcium scoring test is very important and now very latest equipments are being used with high resolution to calculate the calcium scoring. Calcium scoring give us the information about the hardening of the coronary vessels. Coronary vessels are the arteries which are supplying blood to the heart muscles. If they become hard they can be complicated and they can cause narrow of the arteries so it is very important it's a very simple test in, and in this test IV cannula or benula is not used and no IV contrast or dye is injected into the patient it is safe patients lie down in the CT scanner and he has been asked to hold the breath for few seconds and then the test is completed and the patient has been taken off but during the test we do monitor the ECG as well by putting some electrode ECG stickers on the patient so that we can monitor the ECG as well and uh, co correlate it with the findings. So it is very important. So we should know about the plaque. This is important for the patient, for such patients which have got no coronary artery symptoms, coronary artery disease symptoms, like they don't have any angina or just pain on walking or they don't have any cold sweating. And such patients which do not uh, have got difficulty in breathing or exertion. So, but these patients are at risk the, because they are at risk because of their uh, family history, strong family history uh, for heart disease, and as well as the patient which are hypertensive, patients have got high cholesterol levels. Such patients are at risk, then they don't know they have got plugs in their coronary arteries. So it is important to, to perform such test in this patient and uh, when this is called uh, CT calcium scoring, CT coronary calcium scoring, if you elaborate the test name. So uh, it is important to find it out how much calcium is deposited in your blood. So this uh, calcium uh, scoring test is important because as life prolongs as life goes on from the adulthood onward and this atherosclerosis process is there and this in, with the increase of the atherosclerosis the calcium are deposited in the coronary vessels so it uh, when these plaques got ruptured this can cause uh, clotting of the blood in the vessels and these vessels can cause heart attack so it's important to know about how much plaque is there in the coronary arteries. So what happens, I will tell you one small example. Suppose if there is a patient who goes to the GP and there is no problems with the chest pain, no blood pressure, blood pressure is normal and this patient has got no shortness of breath but he has got a strong family history, his cholesterol is normal so the, but he is worried about that, his ECG is also normal. So doctor send him for the echocardiography which is also normal, heart functions are normal, all the heart muscles are working very well. So a patient has been advised to, by the cardiologist to go for the stress test. So this patient has got the normal stress test E1. So this normal stress test then leads the doctor to evaluate further by calcium scoring. Then his CT calcium scoring of the coronary vessels has been done and it is found to be that he has got high levels of uh, uh, calcium deposit in the vessel walls of the coronary arteries. Why it's happened? Because this stress test was normal. Now I'll tell you what, what is the reason. When there is a narrowing of the coronary vessels more than 70% only then then there is a uh, significant uh, blockage of the flow of the blood through the vessels so only in that case the stress test will be positive if the blockage is less than 70 percent about 60 percent then there is a calcification in that uh, in the plaque uh, in the vessel walls so the plaque is there but it's not causing significant uh, uh, narrowing so that's why this patient has got normal stress test so it is important to know about this coronary vessel testing when you find it out that this patient has got calcium deposited in the 
vessels which are causing this deposition of the coronary vessels. No doubt atherosclerosis is one of the process, but there are other risk factors you need to find it out. Some patients might have got obesity in the fatty liver and that give us the history of high lipid profile levels. So the lipid profiles may be deranged or other risk factors are present like patient is a smoker or sedentary lifestyle or blood pressure. So such patients must go for the detailed investigations and then uh, we can try to improve the, uh, their lifestyle and the modifications so that the calcium score levels can be reduced, which can be reduced by 10%, not more than that, but at least you can stop that for further increasing. So, and uh, gives the proper medication so that there is less chances of uh, the rupture of the plaque and then the plaque ruptures, the, all the blood uh, become, all the blood cells become clotted there at the site and then there is a disruption of the flow of, to the heart muscle which can cause myocardial infarction, is also known as heart attack. So it is important to have this test on a regular basis and it is also important that in all over the world, now wherever this facility is available, this cardiac uh, CT calcium scoring is a routine test and it's a part of the investigation of the test. And uh, stay blessed and I hope take care of your health and this helps you a lot. Thank you very much.